great Maxwell Myers and the great Mo Chanet. And this is a very special day. If you have been with us for, since our inception, you are going to know that the first video for the movie really was of uh, the second Hog movie, or uh, the 42nd, as it's called. <laughs> uh, but we're back today to review The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, which we just saw. So, fireworks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My, uh, I am so exhausted from uh, <laughs> over two hours of computer generated mayhem, or was it two years? So I'm just going to turn it over to you guys. Your thoughts, your, your gut in reaction. Okay. Go ahead. I was going to say, did I miscount that it might feel stupid? Was there only four armies? No, fine. Uh, men, well, there's two armies of orcs. Men, dwarves, elves, uh, orcs and goblins, and eagles. Oh, the eagles count as an army? The eagles count as an army. They were there for like 10 seconds. Oh, well, these yeah. are the same eagles who always conveniently appear for no particular reason. What do the eagles do on a day to day basis? They're there. Eagle stuff. They, you know, they just wait, you know. They fly. They oh, they do. Okay, fine. We will swoop in at the last second and fix some shit. But until then, we're going to let them learn how to fly on their own. They pose majestically for Americans to marvel at. <laughs> You're actually always going to remember the visibility of frame computer generated people. <laughs> um, okay. I liked it. I mean, I liked that one. As, I liked it more than the second one. I think I would say I liked it about as much as the first one. Um, I feel like that wasn't so much a, a movie as it well was three hours of Peter Jackson showing off. Yes. <laughs> yes. He, is, he is impressive. I would say that. He knows his way around a camera. He knows how to make gigantic actually in memorable moments and, and weird stuff happen that sometimes you laugh at, but it's cool enough to eat that it's alright. Um, I think it's probably the weakest of the movies. I, I have to agree with I, that. I, I kind of compare it to, uh, to the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, where it's pretty much built up to the big fight and then tying up loose ends. We yeah, kind of felt like the Battle of the Five Armies and the endless yakking about the battle before the battle begins. I see, I didn't, I felt this one was stronger than the second one. And maybe this is just because I know everyone said this about the two towers. The second one just felt like a connector between the two. It's and, just, and a it's little unfortunate position of being the middle part of the story. Yes. Although yeah. I would say the book was called The Battle of the Five Armies, and I felt like there have been so many battles I've seen Peter Jackson computer generate that this one felt not as spectacular. I agree, yeah, I, mean, I disagree, because there's, there's so much going on. Well, there's so much going on in all of this stuff. I feel like maybe it's because this one has spread so much farther between so many different battles. I feel like, I don't know, with the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy, we got some different battles that seemed a little more interesting maybe because there was a driving force like we were trying to get from one point we got out of focus between this army and this army and back to the middle of the, the mountain for Thorin to have some existential crisis. <laughs> uh, and then back to the battle again. Yeah, you either in there. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I wouldn't say that I would feel this way because maybe I'm just coming off movie high in yeah. the theater. I, I felt like I was watching uh, Peter Jackson play a really like, shoddy movie video game. <laughs> Yeah. They got 
sandworms that didn't do anything. <laughs> so this is, I have a question. Uh, Gabriel Del Toro was originally attached to this because yes. yeah. Warner Brothers didn't want to pay Peter Jackson millions of dollars to make these movies. And so he was going to do it, and he only ended up being creative consultant and one-fourth of the writers of these movies. Would you have rather have seen him direct these? Because I was all for that. Because I, I was know. like, if I'm not going to get Peter Jackson, I'll be Gabriel Del Toro. We'll get some cool puppet action, maybe, and some interesting stuff going on there. Because they have a similar aesthetic, but also different. I don't know how it would be different. I don't know really either. That's my own thing. I would, I mean, I would applaud like, uh, like anything to, to do things differently. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know if you're going to be right or wrong. I mean, I, I honestly never met him with the original of the world films, so I probably don't have the best perspective on the whole thing. I, I mean, I don't know. I think the. I think, I, I don't know. I wouldn't even go for someone like obscure, like uh, I mean, David McKean, you know, who made it all, like, he had some filmmaking experience. I would love to see him. Oh, yeah, the Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if it would have been different. I mean, he did have one fourth of the writing credit. Yeah. So maybe it wouldn't have been much different, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like there was something, like, he was trying to recapture magic with those last ones. And it yeah. felt magical, but not more. Well, here, here's another thing. It's pretty, pretty much just a big victory lab. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We find the finish and tell her. And I was thinking about like a Pacific Rim. And everybody always says, you know, like, oh, you know, that movie is a, about, you know, it's the monsters that make attractions. The robots, it's not the characters. I actually think the character development is really important in that film. And that you, like, a, uh, you do care about, you know, this. And you know, crazy misfits getting together and you know, killing monsters. I think uh, I think that maybe with the Hobbit's missing like an anchor like that. Well, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been a year. Happy birthday, guys! <laughs> Happy birthday! Guys. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! That makes no sense. Get you guys anything? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to get one for the first anniversary. Okay. I don't know. Just, just sincerity. Sincerity. You have my. Sister. I was fake. You have my soul. <laughs> you have my little human fire to live. <laughs> well, I think. Also, oh, well, that's something else I remember. This is the first time that the Legolas has run out of arrows. <gasps> what the fuck? You're right. <laughs> and he's like hanging upside down from a bat and they don't fall out of the quiver. <laughs> no, I just right. like, I'm just magic elf quiver. Magic elf quiver? I want to see. That sounds like a terrible slutty novel. 